Batangas is known for many things, centuries-old churches, a distinct cuisine, a volcano within a lake, and a strong accent. But more than anything else, the one thing that first comes to mind? Beaches. Hi, we are Vince and Josh, and in this video, we're sharing with you 10 of the best beaches in my home province, Batangas. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new travel videos. Some are sandy, some are pebbly, some are rocky, some are totally secluded, others fully developed. Each has its own charm, each has its own market. But the top thing that makes Batangas beaches popular is its proximity to Manila, just a 3 to 4 hour drive away. Here are 10 beaches in Batangas that are worth the trip. Verde Island Verde Island is part of Batangas City. Situated 45 minutes off the mainland, it cradles a number of beach attractions that are almost untouched including Mahabang Buhangin and Cueva Sitio. The island also sits in the middle of Verde Island Passage which is described by a 2007 Smithsonian Institute study as the center of the world's marine biodiversity, citing the high concentration of marine species. Laia Laia is one of the most developed beaches in the province, and it's not hard to see why. Its long and wide stretch of sand attracts thousands and thousands of tourists, especially during summer. Countless resorts, both high-end and budget, have mushroomed along the coast over the past years, making this a great option for those who want to just relax and be comfortable. The EI is also a favorite for corporate events. So the beach here isn't really fine nor white. So in terms of color, it's more beige bordering on light brown. So just to manage your expectations, it's like this. Masasa Beach Until very recently, Masasa Beach was a concealed gem, stashed away from the watchful eye of weekend warriors from Manila. But something this precious is hard to keep secret. As soon as the word got out, tourists came in droves, rattling what used to be a dormant town. Masasa Beach is arguably the best beach in Tingloy, the only municipality in Batangas that is not on mainland Luzon. The sand here isn't pearly white, but what it lacks in the brightness of its sand, makes up for in the vibrance of its waves. Its crystal clear waters give off a beautiful turquoise shimmer, something that will catch your attention even from a great distance. Sepok Beach Also called Sepok Point, this private strip is owned and managed by Eagle Point Beach Resort, which makes it less crowded than other beaches in the province. This is Sepok Island, actually Sepok Beach, but people think it's an island and locals have been calling this Sepok Island or at least uh, local resorts are marketing this as Sepok Island, but it's actually just a beach, a small cove, uh, which is part of uh, the larger Marikaban Island in Tingloy, Batangas. Lacing the northwestern tip of Tingloy, it can be included in Tingloy Island hopping tours from Masasa Beach or Anilao. Public boats are free to stop here, but the inland amenities like restrooms and dining hall are exclusive to the resort guests. One of the things you can do here is hike to the top of a hill where you can enjoy a great view of nearby Sombrero Island. Speaking of Sombrero Island, so called for its shape, Sombrero Island has a rounded peak surrounded by a bed of sand where beach bombs can laze and just enjoy the clear water for a fee. It's a small island with a short stretch of sand but it's a popular beach stop for hikers. If you like trekking, you've probably heard about Mount Gulugud Baboy in Mabini. Most mountaineers and hikers coming down the hill opt to go on a day trip to this island before coming back to Manila. Kalatagan Beaches The municipality of Kalatagan occupies an entire peninsula that juts out into the Verde Island Passage, which is, as mentioned, bursting with marine life. But Kalatagan is also known for its shallow waters and supple beaches. Some of the popular resorts along its shoreline are Manuel Uy Beach, Stilts Kalatagan Beach Resort, Aquaria Water Park, and Ivory Beach. Off the coast are a few islets like Starfish Island and a Sunbar, which are usual stops on boat tours. Fortune Island Fortune Island used to harbor an exclusive luxury resort, but it ceased operations in 2006. One remarkable reminder of its grandeur stands atop the island's limestone cliff overlooking the sea. Russian pillars and statues. 
Fortune Island is mostly rocky with a short stretch of sand. It's now popular among campers and sun worshippers but it was for the longest time a best kept secret among divers. The island is surrounded by shipwreck diving sites including the Dutch warship Mauritius which sank in the year 1600. Pulo Island Locals call it Pulo Pulo but tourists know this as Pulo Island or Lauren Island. It's located just 20 minutes from mainland Nasugbu. The sand here is beige and pebbly at best but it still offers a fantastic island escape. The island has two beaches and what looks like a sandbar that links to another rocky island. Nasugbu Coves Aside from the islands, mainland Nasugbu has a jagged coastline whose nooks and crannies are filled with fair sand creating picturesque small coves. Rangay's Kalayo and Papaya in particular cradle several beaches including Between Cove, the Eglayag Beach, Hamilo Coast, and Kairaang Cove. Many of these have very little amenities but are open to campers for a fee. Malabrigo Point Malabrigo has managed to fly under the radar all these years, preserving its natural beauty and pristine steep. Two things can take credit for that. One is its location. Nestled in a relatively obscure municipality, it can be reached by meandering along mountainsides. The other reason is that it's not your typical beach. It's a pebble beach. Instead of fine sand, you'll find small to medium-sized gray and white pebbles. There's also a beautiful lighthouse nearby. That's all for now. If you need more information about traveling to and around Patangas, we wrote several detailed travel guides on our blog. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new travel videos. See you again next time and may the goals be with you!